President Trump invokes the fake news mantra so often that it may have lost some of its punch. He did it twice with reporters just the other day. Mr. Brett, did you tell DHS to round up uh, immigrant families? I don't know anything about that. I read that's probably fake news. Probably fake news. The question was based on a Washington Post report citing seven current and former Homeland Security officials and saying former Secretary Kirsten Nielsen and a deputy challenged a White House plan to arrest thousands of migrant parents and children in 10 major American cities. The story didn't say the president ordered this, but that's what he denied with his fake news comment. Another correspondent asked about growing tensions with Iran. I think it's fake news, okay? Now, would I do that? Absolutely. But we have not planned for that. Hopefully, we're not going to have to plan for that. And if we did that, we'd send a hell of a lot more troops than that. But I think it's just, where was that story? In the New York Times? Well, the New York Times is fake news. What the Times actually reported is that acting Pentagon chief Patrick Shanahan, at John Bolton's urging, presented an updated military plan that envisions sending as many as 120,000 troops to the Mideast if Iran attacked American forces or intensified its work on its nuclear program. It was, in other words, just a contingency plan and one that was later confirmed. But the reporter botched the question by asking Trump whether he would send those troops, which wasn't what the Times reported. The president was back at it on Friday after more New York Times reporting on the internal debate over Iran. They never write the names of people anymore. Everything is, a source says, there is no source. The person doesn't exist. The person's not alive. It's bull****. We had to believe that one. Uh, Trump often makes this claim that the sources are fiction. Times reporter Maggie Haberman responded, we can ask the officials in his White House who asked to be quoted anonymously just two days ago how they feel about it. But the president has found a silver lining. I was thinking today, I said, gee, what must our adversaries think? And then I look and I say, you know, it's probably a good thing because they're saying, man, I don't know where these people are coming from. Hmm. Well, at least journalists are good for something. We confuse people.